Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today I'm going to teach you how to build an atomic model. We're going to do this two different ways, one with styrofoam balls and one with candy. We are using Christian Kids Explore Chemistry by Bright Ideas Press and we are having a fabulous time learning about chemistry with our elementary aged students. Okay, the first thing that we will want to do is to paint some styrofoam balls. Four styrofoam balls need to be painted uh, yellow, and those are bigger ones, like two inches across. And then three need to be blue, and three need to be red. The red ones need to be only one inch across, so they are smaller because these are electrons. So these ones are protons, these ones are neutrons, and these ones are electrons. Take a look at how we painted these styrofoam balls. We are making an atomic model, so a model of an atom. We have blue acrylic paint, yellow acrylic paint, and red acrylic paint. We have seven balls that are two inches in diameter and three balls that are one inch in diameter. These are styrofoam balls and we also have some toothpicks. So we are, go ahead and grab them and we are going to paint them. After waiting for the paint to dry overnight, you will want to assemble your styrofoam atom. So the first thing you will want to do is grab the toothpick, stab it into the styrofoam ball, and then stab it into this other styrofoam ball. Okay, so the, the blue, go ahead and stab it. You can stab it. The blue and the yellow need to be stabbed together and then we are making one blob okay so that blob is going to be stuck together touching okay so have like this one stabbed with this okay so this is a lithium atom by the way lithium has three protons four neutrons and three electrons. Okay, so the protons and neutrons are all stabbed so that they're so close to each other, okay? So you see how they're smooshed together. Now, we are stabbing the electrons in and you're letting a little bit of toothpick show. You can also do this with, um, with a drinking straw, okay? but it's easier with a toothpick. Here we have the uh, model of the lithium atom. Now, let us try to make an atom out of gumdrops and pipe cleaners and toothpicks. Take a look at that activity. Here we're making a candy atom. You will need some gumdrops, which you can divide into different colors and different bowls. You will also need some toothpicks and some pipe cleaners, okay. Um, also you need at least one sheet of white paper so that you can see uh, the atom. Now, if the gumdrops are sticky, which uh, when I was growing up, gumdrops were extremely sticky, then you can put um, the gumdrops together for the nucleus and they stick together. But uh, the ones that we're using for some reason don't stick together. So you can use um, any so sorts of gummy bears or gummy anything that's maybe circular. Okay, if they don't stick together right away, all you have to do is um, pull apart a toothpick like this, half and half, and then stab them together. Okay, we are doing an oxygen molecule, and so you need um, uh, eight protons, eight neutrons, and eight electrons. Okay, so the um, we are doing protons in green and neutrons in red and electrons in yellow, okay? Um, and the first shell of the electrons you will want two and then six in the outer shell, okay? Um, now, you can stab, I'm talking about the electrons, you could stab them through. If you want to stab them through, that's fine. Or what I did, which was way easier, 
is I formed a circle first, okay? So to make a bigger circle, what you do is you uh, wind it like this, okay? And then you go around here and then wind this like this, okay? So this is how you make a larger circle. Now, I put the circles uh, first, and then what I did is I opened up the gumdrop. Now it's sticky. And then I ate it like Pac-Man, <laughs> like that. And it really does stick to that pipe cleaner. So this is an easier way to do it than to stab it through because, you know, uh, depending on how old the gumdrops have been in the store, how long they've been, uh, you might not be able to stab them that, that well. So this is how we did this uh, candy oxygen atom. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching How to Build an Atomic Model.